fish. Nice fish. Put a live valley hoop on a knocker on the bottom. It just smoked it. Patty. Of Blue Water Life. I'm gonna do some offshore fishing off of Miami today. Uh, I am gonna head out. I'm gonna try to grab some pilchards uh, on the way, maybe stop and grab some ballyhoo. Uh, we still got about, yeah, about two dozen in here, so we're gonna see what we can get on the way out. Um, and then uh, probably stop and grab some ballyhoo for the bottom. Do some drifting today. I brought all of my pen. The Slammer 6500s, 8500s. I got uh, one, two, three, four, seven rods today on the Esky rods. Um, we we're just doing some live bait fishing. I also brought some chum. I brought the whole kind of whole deal. Uh, it is Saturday. It's going to be a beautiful day. So stay tuned, guys. We'll see you out there. Summers today but there's some nice guys in there we're gonna stop and grab some valley here too because that's not enough um, plus I like to have a couple different baits but Ooh, it looks like a nice day out here winds are from the south southwest a little bit so it should be pretty smooth probably out to the blue water so um, we'll grab some valley here let's head on out let's hit that edge trying to stand in here the winds the winds a little bit bad but I am uh where am I at I'm in 26 feet of water here um, right off the coast I'm trying to load up on some ballyhoo so I got the chum bag right there in the water I like to use the net one because it doesn't let everything go it kind of gets them up closer to the boat um, and then I'm actually using this is like a ground or like a Tropicana fish chum yeah, and I just put a little bit of salt water in it and then clump it up like this and throw this out. This usually gets a ballyhoo here a little bit faster. Um, you know, you pick it up at like your local, local horse feed store. There's one here in Miami, um, but you know, it's nice because then I don't feel like you got to wait because this stuff spreads like crazy. But see, like I chunk it up like this, you can see it all. Ballyhoo just coming right to the boat right there. So, whew, try to make this a short trip. I want to do some fishing, so I'm gonna put you guys up here and then we're gonna throw the net, try to get on these ballyhoos right here and then get out to the reef. I'm gonna try to get some, the ballyhoo. It's like a, a just a hoop net.
yeah! Woo -hoo -hoo. Woo, baby! Look the size of that thing. Woo. It never. Look at that. Look at that set right in the side of the mouth. Hey, it's a. It's a fat zero mackerel right there, boys and girls. Woo! Look at that thing. Whew, whew. That thing smoked it. Look at the teeth. Whew. Fatty. All right, let's get the hook out of this bitch. That was amazing that I even got that in. Like zero fray. That thing caught in right in the corner of the mouth. Woo. That's a fact. Woo. You guys see the, the teeth on that thing, huh? Beauty, let's get him in the box. I'm gonna bleed him out first. So I'm gonna brain him, I'm gonna stick this right in the head. First time I ever caught one like this right off the of, right off of 30 feet of water off the buoys. Crazy. What I'm doing here is to put a live ballyhoo. It's a knocker rig. So you're gonna wait right on the end. And I'm just throwing this way back in the slick while I'm waiting for the rest of the ballyhoo to show up. That's how I smoked that one. Whew. Let's get this way back there. I'm gonna throw this net and uh, they're all like right there. So I'm gonna throw the net, I'm gonna load up and we're out. Here we come. Oh man, I love, I love whacking my engine. Hooked up 107 feet of water. It's nothing big. He looks a little short, but let's measure him anyways. Nice mutton snapper. He's definitely short, but see how long he is for shits and giggles. Looks like he is about 18. 18, they gotta be 19 inches. 18, they gotta be 19. Let's get him back to the bottom. There he goes. Go. Get out of here. There we go. Take a lot. But 164 feet of water. Woo! Put some the Bob Marley. It's not a big guy, whatever it is. Probably a small little snapper. Got a 
fans here. guy he's definitely going back a couple mutton snapper I got bit off a bunch of times um, but that was an amazing day got that nice zero mackerel I'm super stoked about that do a little ceviche or nah, maybe ceviche sushi probably um, a little sashimi you know maybe a Maybe even a poke bowl, so. Um, I'm gonna head on in, guys. Uh, I'm gonna head on in through Hallover, get the boat all cleaned up, and then uh, we'll clean up this fish. So, see you guys in there. Wait, this beast. Got my battery. I gotta get my battery. Whew. Whew. Oh yeah. Battery, 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 battery. Check. Let's do weight check, then put them on ice. Finish cleaning the boat. Then, all right. That is a fat zero mackerel. Ten pounds, baby. Woo! Look at that thing. That's solid. Put them on ice in there, and then finish cleaning off the boat. Grab some 
salt water. Bucket of salt water. Whew. This makes it the meat not get soggy. Boom, baby. Clean the boat. Do this one first. Oh yeah. The solid syrup mackerel. And this is solid, solid. Some meat there. Let's look at the other side real quick. Let's see it's in its belly. There we go. Nice sashimi pieces right there. Look at that. Ooh. Look at that. Mm. Mm. Couple of real nice sashimi pieces. Anything up here in the head? Nope. Bunch of eggs. Ah. is in the belly. Probably my ballyhoo from yesterday. 100% it is. The ballyhoo from yesterday. That's it. Oh yeah.
got these sashimi pieces right there. Let's clean this right off. Off. Cut down the bloodline right there. There you go. Bloodline. Good pieces. Sashimi. Just do the same right here. Nice chunk skin. Clean this thing up. Bloodline. Bloodline here. Here it is. Out. Take this little piece out right here. It's where the gap went in. All right, let's take this in the kitchen. <laughs> All right. Let's get this in a bag for now. Put this in the fridge. We're gonna save this. Fridge, 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 fridge. You're gonna go on top. Okay. Put these in the fridge. Oops. I'm gonna chill, kind of hard them up a little bit. This baby's in the fridge. Boom, it's chill. We already got, all right, I'm gonna make some poke bowls um, with the zero mackerel um, raw. I got mango, cucumber, scotch bonnet, it's super hot. And then we got, I'm gonna do some avocado. I already cooked the jasmine white rice right there and then we got special ingredient Ooh, baby this is a little bit of eel sauce and we got the soy sauce got it all cut up let's just cut up a little avocado here mm -hmm. we'll keep that one for later All right, perfect. Now, goods. Oh, baby, look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Call white. Then filet. So, I'm gonna do the whole thing. Just take a nice piece here. 
Under that. We'll put the rest back in the fridge. And we're gonna use that piece. That is some nice. Full away. Alright, let's cut off the rest of the bloodline here. Okay. Beautiful. It doesn't really matter here. We're going to be chunking this all up, anyways. So we're going to chunk this up. Kick this one up a little bit. fish. We're going to take this we're going to put it in a nice little bowl here. Get a little bit of soy. And just stir that around. So nice and soy. Maybe I should get another piece. Let's get one more. Cool. Right, let's add that to the mix. I'm hungry. Cody. Where's Cody? What's Cody doing? What's Cody doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? Put a boo boo. Right. All right, let's finish this. Okay. Got our rice. Perfect. I like using jasmine because it's super sticky. So, this looks amazing. We're gonna do some rice in a bowl. We got some gourmet. No, no. All right, we got our jasmine rice there. We're gonna do a whole lot of cucumber, a whole lot of mango, <laughs> and all this scotch bonnet. Smells good. Little avocado, squeeze it right in there. Take the fish. Cool, that scotch bonnet is hot. <coughs> Whew, can already taste it. And then the secret ingredient from Publix or any seafood restaurant. It's so sweet, it's like molasses. Oh yeah, there we go. Look at that. Oh, um, this is this is super easy, and 
looks absolutely amazing. So, mmm, it's so good. You mix it around. Amazing, but thanks so much for watching. But I'm gonna eat this. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure to hit that subscribe button below. More fishing and boating videos are on the way. This is Blue Water Life.